Chavez would remain unbeaten for the next 21 fights before finally losing in 1994. Meldrick Taylor never truly recovered. Meldrick Taylor lost everything that night. He didn't just lose a title belt. He was never gonna be Meldrick Taylor again. In the years following the loss to Chavez, Taylor's life and career propelled into a downward spiral, marked by diminished skills inside the ring, financial and legal problems outside of it, and most worrisome, this. Oh, it's funny not to me because I, the media wrote bad things about me. The now my name said I was washed up. Today, at 36, Taylor continues to fight, despite evidence that he shouldn't. Meldrick is the classic great champion that won't quit. Someone that continued on with his career as best he could, but who shows all the evidence of chronic brain injury. I mean, I'm at the beginning of the prime of my career, and I think I'm going to really excel in, in this fight. I'm going to propel me as the best fighter of pound for pound in the world. It's going to make me a superstar. People say a lot of things about, about me, about my career. I shouldn't be fighting no more. And it's not true. So I'm here to prove myself that I'm still the same fighter I was 